Happy Friday everyone, it's Patty and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you my paperclip collection and how I store it. So I'm just gonna, you know, give you some ideas. Um, I also have two other solutions for different types of paper clips that I store separately. Uh, but I wanted to share with you because this is something that uh, a lot of us use. I have started collecting paper clips basically when I started planning. So uh, it's been three and a half years. So, you know, you do a accumulate a lot of them and paper clips be made out of paper most of them they can be delicate and they can break apart and uh, this kind of method of organizing it um, it was not my first solution I first started when I had less of them uh, using something different that I'm gonna be sharing with you but as I accumulated more and more and more I wanted to find a more efficient way so that they would not all you know only be stored but that would be safe and it would not take too much room now uh, this particular method or way of organizing them um, was not my idea I saw it on Christy a few years back uh, Christy Tomlinson from the Planner Society she had an Instagram story uh, where she shared how she shared the, how she shared her huge collection she has an amazing collection of paper clips and she was using binders binders with uh, inserts that are meant for uh, baseball cards or cards that you collect and I just love the idea so um, um, when I found a binder that worked for me, I tried to replicate it. So um, this is uh, my version of it. So let's start with the binder. And this is a huge binder. Um, this is probably, I would say, tw at least 12, maybe 12 and a half by 11. And it's by Theresa Collins. I bought it at Joanne a couple of years back, but um, I haven't been able to find it recently, but I will try and see if I can find something similar. And what I love most about it, first of all, what attracted me to it, it was this uh, pattern because my uh, room is decorated in black and white striped with uh, accents of gold and pink and so um, since I have this sitting on one of my here um, towers IKEA towers uh, I thought you know it, it, it adds something to the room right it matches the decor so it's not gonna clash with everything you have but I'm sure that it's you know you can find it in different patterns etc so this is pretty big as you can see and sure I lift it up it's pretty wide it's about three inches so it holds a lot although I must say that I'm kind of pushing it to um, to its limits because as you can tell I already had to kind of fix it and put some tape uh, over here because it was kind of falling apart <laughs> but um, the, the reason that it's falling apart is that I'm using a lot of inserts I'm using a lot of kind of like 3d kind of um, you know uh, paper clips and also the inserts I'm using are a little thicker than what Christy was using so for the inserts as I mentioned I'm gonna share with you exactly the ones that I use um, the inserts are meant for uh, baseball cards and they look like this so they have all nine inserts, nine, um, you know, um, slots in the front, nine slots in the back. And what I do like about this particular type, which I found on Amazon, and here is what they're called. They're called BCW Protect Store Display, 18 pocket pages. And these you can find on Amazon, I'll link it below. But they are a little bit more expensive than your regular clear, um, you know, card holders, which you can find and, uh, you know, they're cheaper. What I liked about these is that um, they, already give me a background so if I put my paper clips here um, I'm not gonna have the issue that on the other side you know it's gonna show the other paper clip um, so as you can tell they're all nicely organized they look clean they don't look messy uh, whereas if you have the clear ones you're gonna have to either put a little bit of paper cut a little bit of car stuff which of course you can do but for me it was just simpler to do it this way because I don't have to do anything extra I can just stick them in now um, the issue is that they are definitely thicker so they're thicker so they're gonna add a little more bulk but that depends you know on how many you have I have a bunch and so I'm probably need to start on a second binder but um, I haven't found the perfect one yet but um, I have tried being organized as much as I can in my collection although 
Um, so you'll see some attempts, I do some labeling, but the problem with that is also uh, sometimes I buy just a couple of uh, paper clips from a shop and I don't feel like making a label and then I buy another one and then it doesn't fit, I have to move them all around. So it's been a little bit, um, it's not super organized, let's put it that way. So uh, my first page here, I have paper clips from different places, um, most of them like these, um, actually not that one, but these two, these little ones here are from a previous kit from the Planet Society and then I have a mix from the Southern Mist design and this is Whimsy Delight and then I have a charm there so to show you it also fits charms so and that one is from Peony's Papery and so um, you know they fit they fit perfectly then on the back here I have another mix and so again I didn't label it um, these were from uh, uh, let me see planner glam girl over there and then I have this one from uh, from Vanessa which is a little petit paper co and she doesn't usually sell them but it came in a kit and this is whimsy delight and then this is my friend Mario sent me one this is from peach palm and this one I do believe it was whimsy delight and then over here we're starting uh, with uh, K and Co XO XO uh, and uh, I have you know quite a bit of these and so I have put a label and these are some of our uh, bow charms and then we have some paper clips and I love this one actually I am thinking about changing my Christmas setup I don't know but uh, this one over here and said it's not by K and Co XO XO this one came from a shop that she used to make all these shakers um, fortunately she closed up she had some family issues so she had to close up shop I do believe that she tried opening up again but I'm not uh, sure I couldn't remember her name but um, you know I just put her up there because uh, I don't have any other clips from her and then we're gonna move on to the next page and I apologize if there is a little bit of a, a reflection but um, here is another mix I have some of the Chanel these are more by theme I would say so I have a lot of this black and white with a little bit of purple um, so these are Chanel inspired kind of paper clips and then on this side instead we're starting with my planner glam girl and I bought so many clips from her and uh, um, she closed up shop for a little while I will check back if she's open if she's open I'll link her below but her foxes were just phenomenal and she came up with foxes in all sorts of design and you can see you know there's a Tiffany one there's Christmas ones with little hats um, and then there's this polka dot ones and she had like um, uh, kind of like bundles and when you would buy these bundles they would always come with a bonus like this was a bonus clip uh, this is one of my favorite from her actually um, it has this beautiful little fox and she's all dressed up for Christmas and she's got a bow and a little candy cane and I just love it and, and the little of course uh, Swarovski in on her nose so uh, as you can tell they come in all different patterns and uh, um, I also love kind of like her glam collection. She has some Louboutin here heels. And let me show you this one because it has a little red peeking from the back, which is hilarious. And I actually have heels like that that I can't wear anymore because of my ankle. Very bummed out. But um, and then I have uh, these are bears, and these were all the, the uh, bonuses that she would include with her um, bundles. So, so every month you would get a different kind of like a mystery bonus, and they are adorable. Um, then we have more of this was more of an Halloween kind of like paper clip with the purple and uh, the little black bow, and then more foxes. And I just, I just love them all. They're just so pretty. These were bonuses. And uh, this is then there's this pretty, little pretty dress. And then we're moving on to the next shop of which I have a ton of. And this is one Creative Bee, which is Melissa. And I have been buying from her for a long time. And she makes beautiful, beautiful paper clips. Um, I particularly love some of them like this one. Just wanted to show you the detail. Uh, so this is just beautiful. It is like layered. It has this top layer of uh, uh, this um, kind of glitter, you know, gold paper. And then on this side instead, the under it, there is this beautiful floral and uh, um, she she makes them in she is open so I'll link her below I, I love the pumpkin spice <laughs> I used it in my um, kind of like inspired um, inspired setup by um, what is the name Ray Dunn and then uh, the little teapot and then these bows and this is something that it's 
I use all the time and so I bought them in gazillion colors um, she makes them in all sorts of colors all for the holidays so uh, again one creative bee and and then we're basically continuing on the back of the page I have more hover um, hover goodies a little turkey I'm gonna pick it out to use for uh, Thanksgiving soon next up i have posh pieces and i do believe that she does not sell on etsy anymore she sells through her facebook group but um her paper clips are beautiful and this is probably my favorite i mean planner nerd how adorable is that it's a planner with glasses it's got this cute little smile and then it says planner nerd and it just uh, it's just too cute i mean i don't know if i actually used it i will probably just put it you know in the pocket it will look adorable in the pocket of uh, your travel notebook and i also love this one actually i had this one for a while so it's like a, a little camera reminds me of uh, the instagram kind of logo and i love the patterns i love how she matched a floral with kind of a polka dot and then this kind of like um tiffany blue in the front i just think it was a beautiful you know combination and then here we start with uh, a shop that was one of my favorites and this was Southern Mess Designs from Brittany and unfortunately she closed the shop due to family issues but as you can tell and you'll see uh, she was probably the shop that I most of you know bought the most from I hope she will reopen one day she makes beautiful clips I mean look at this shaker um, she made uh, even um, you know kind of fat I don't know ooh, I don't know Oh, I just pulled off the little bow oh, that's a bummer okay I'm gonna fix it later but basically I just pulled off <laughs> <laughs> this little bow that was on the front uh, but these are kind of fabric you know kind of vinyl and I just love this one so I'm gonna fix it later but um, just a little glue no biggie he'll be fixed later and then another shaky here and then we have the little sleepy mask um, this is a Grinch and then some really really elaborate Christmas one with Santa the elf and the little mermaid of course the squirrel because obsessed with squirrels and then here there's some more she also had these little um, owls that were in all kind of pastel colors very pretty and uh, um, then this has to be the cutest little Halloween Hello Kitty but unfortunately again she is closed and also she made this type of uh, paper clips too she made for a while some uh, um, what are those called uh, uh, planner uh, tassels and uh, uh, I bought them all they were beautifully made and so these are other you know paper clips that she's made and those I put up there because if I try putting them in between here but because they're 3d they kind of get crushed if you leave them in the middle so I wouldn't do that and next up this is just a mixed page of paper clips that I got from uh, Prima um, I used to be on their design team so I got a lot of their stuff so this is just uh, a mix of them and then here we have some paper clips by Zitlali, Zitlali shop I hope uh, or Z Italy I'm not sure but um, I bought from her uh, too I love the coffee cup and then here are some of my most probably priced ones just because bell does not make them anymore uh, bell used to sell from uh, through a shop called crafty papillon and she made this adorable paper clip i mean can we talk i think any um from any plants needs um any printables she needs this one for her dog winnie because this is a perfect match it's so cute um so she made these beautiful clips and then she stopped because she's busy you know with her, her baby and so um but look at this one for christmas i these were came from the philippines and they're they were just uh, just perfect and uh, the fav absolute favorite ones have to be her shakers uh i just you know even if you never use it i mean you just want to keep it i mean she this is just like a 3d look at all the layering and stuff so if we can convince bell to maybe release something for christmas please bell i mean it would be i don't know if you're listening probably not gonna watch this video but um i'm putting it out in the universe please 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 make some more of these shakers otherwise i'm gonna have to figure out how to um make one myself and i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be as cute as bells and this section here instead is from my friend pia I have a pretty have a pretty plan you used to have a shop and she closed the shop down but she made beautiful um you know paper clips so i hope that she will uh, reopen again 
and then in here we have more of a mix um, so I have some lovely little planners for this um, this paper clips over here and then I have some Ashley love and she actually closed down her shop but actually let me show you the ugly sweaters because these are too cute so these are from lovely little planners and she had a series of ugly sweaters so this one has a kind of like a 3d Santa on it and these are just going to be too darn cute I need to find some in pastel because I really want to do a pastel setup this year so I'm going to need more of a you know pastel -y. so let me find out the name of this one down here it says scrappy scrappy deem designs but I am just truly going to try and you know link as many as I can below guys so this is a mix I have some planner society like one two three for sure and then this one is actually the same shop that I was telling you back over here and I cannot remember her name I do apologize and these are um I have no idea where those came from I'm just gonna come out and say it I'm I'm sorry I don't remember at all and then here I have a mix from Kawaii Sugar and Spice, so these two, and I just love this one with the cute little foxes. I think they're foxes, uh, but they're looking at each other and they're just, uh, it was for Valentine's Day, super cute. This one is from the Planet Society and it was actually in the latest kit and I just love it so much, I have to put it in there. And then this is another shop that closed down, it's called The Little, the Pretty Little Things and what I loved about it uh, is because it has the car with the tree on top and then there is this uh, little camper, Christmas camper with the little wreath, but unfortunately again she closed down so um, you know unfortunately she's not open anymore but it was just too too pretty and I actually have another one that must be in one of my setups um, you know I used it and then I have uh, um, another one here from uh, and now I can't remember her shop but I will link it below she makes and I'm gonna put that she has a little uh, geisha girl or Japanese Hello Kitty and I bought this for um, when when there are the what are those called the, the blossoms the uh, okay it's gonna come back to me uh, what it is and I'm just gonna link it but <laughs> here since i live outside of washington dc uh, we have the blossoms from japan that uh, bloom every uh, summer i mean every summer every spring and so people come over and so here they are the beautiful blossoms what 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 the blossoms are they for i don't remember and then here is a little mix these are very old ones no idea where i got them this was from a kit and then i have these one two three four and let me show you the first one and that this is adorable and uh, this are called from diba do it and uh, this is a little christmas sweater and i love that it has this like little 3d dots on them and i love that it was pastel so this will definitely go with my pastel uh setup there we go and i'm gonna put it in here and then here these are my most recent purchases so these are all from little miss daisy rose i hadn't had a chance to put um you know a label but these are all from her and i'm leaving myself enough room because i've just seen a recent collection and she has a black and white buffalo check that i definitely want i think it's coming out actually today so i'm gonna order but i mean look at this i mean this is just too cute i bought these for a future disney setup and uh as all of these are uh, and so i am totally ready when i'm ready to do it um they're gonna be here and then these are from last year there's more classic disney and then we're coming down to the last page and for the last page i have a mix this one came from the planet society it's one of my favorite all-time favorite clips and it came uh, again from the Founder Society a while ago and I wasn't a hundred percent sure who made the paper clip because it was you know at the time where individual shops still contributed to the kit um, you know it was a small subscription at that time and I really love this one it goes with a black and white uh, kind of like layout it, you know has a little bit of uh, pink so I love it and then this one is my one of my oldest clips too no idea and this is from uh, two uh, girls bows and she makes this beautiful uh, bows with the, your initial and i didn't want to crush it so it sits on the top the top and these are th latest ones i bought these in september when i went to new york 
and the shop is called Indian Ivy Ink and she sh she sells beautiful stickers but also uh, these beautiful paper clips so the little kitten and little fox and of course this create I had to get it and then um, these are from England and uh, the shop name is uh, Dotty Moose, something like that. I'll put it below, guys. But I bought a bundle of these. I actually don't know. I think I have six or seven and I can't find them. So I need to start looking through my setups because there's way more. And this, of course, is from pigtails and pockets and I have a bunch more of these too but they're all in setups but this one is you know another one that you can set up here nice and flat won't get damaged so here is the collection uh, my main collection and again I'm gonna have to start another binder soon because this has reached full capacity and is just not gonna hold anymore but uh let me uh, show you another way that i also store uh, my paper clips this different type of paper clips and it'll be really quick and i'll be right back and i'm back guys and this is a different type of solution this is actually how i started storing my paper clips in the very beginning when i didn't have that many and what happened is that i just ran out of room and i had uh, to find uh, you know a more like space conscious kind of like uh way and uh, um this was basically something that i set aside but now i came back to it for these special paper clips by peonies papery and these are just beautiful they're called the Alice Bell and Lamb makes them uh, uh, in all sorts of uh, materials and uh, colors and I'll get into that a little later but basically what this is is a jewelry tray and this is meant to hold your uh, rings it's it has a, a velvet interior with um, slots that are you know run horizontally and you can get them in different sizes you can get them bigger smaller different colors you can get them on Amazon I bought this particular one at Michael's um, I use my 40% coupon so it was probably around seven or eight dollars ideally I will go back and buy a white one just because you know my furniture is all white so I'm going to be placing this on top of one of my cabinets and you know I don't I just the black stands out a little too much on a white countertop but um, these are super handy if you don't have that many uh, paper clips and again they work best probably for paper clips that are not too top heavy like the ones that I'll show later but they are just perfect for my uh, peonies papery paper clips the reason why i'm storing these in here is that i do not want them to get crushed and i made the mistake of, of storing this fabric one inside my regular uh you know binder and because that binder is so basically you know filled to the rim that um it kind of crushed the fabric and you know kind of bums me out which i'm sure will come back but i don't want him to get damaged and uh, here is a look at my collection actually so uh, this has to be probably my favorite one and it's coming out soon it's gold and uh, and it, it is this very soft material it's very pliable i just love it it comes in two sizes the larger and the smaller so i love this gold and then also this is another one that will be released soon it's a beautiful silver and the, her colors are are just uh, you know gorgeous and also there if you can tell the attention to detail that lamb has is amazing and then these of course are hollow and I have used them in all my hollow setups and I also love this kind of a uh, um, metallic pink and it's just beautiful and it, I just got a little one on that unless I have a bigger one somewhere that I forgot then here in the middle I have the pinks I have this uh, velvet corduroy this nude and this is a different style from the one that I just showed you as you can tell this one has no stitching and this one has stitching and then um, there is this beautiful pink which is kind of like a metallic a little bit finish to it like a sheen and then a beautiful white and on this side we have the fabric one which come in all this pastel colors i think it was actually a bundle it may have been that i bought so it is beautiful yellow a beautiful lavender and then we have a nice light green a light blue and of course pink and so um i left myself some room because i know i will be back i can put more i can just you know kind of slide them over there's room for another row and i just like them um, 
I think they look so pretty just standing up there on your desk, etc. They are uh, so cute. And then you don't lose them, you don't forget them, etc. Now these three in the back instead are um, gl by Glitter Dolls and uh, they are bejeweled and as you can tell they're basically a ball that has been covered with all sorts of Swarovski and uh, kind of pearls and I just love them. Um, I only have these three but I should buy more but they are really pretty. You can put them at the top clearly of your planner, I wouldn't put them in the middle but they, they are secure and they stay there. So uh, again this is my first solution and I just came back to it uh, because um, you know sometimes you need something different but my third uh, you know solution which is actually probably not a solution this is just a mess but um, this is a little a little ba basket that I got from uh, Sugarfina. I bought this for my kids. It was uh, um, a little basket that they sold for Easter egg hunt and it had candy inside. My kids are way too old for Easter egg hunt but I really wanted the basket. Let's be <laughs> Let's be completely honest. And I first put um, washi in here and I showed it on my Instagram feed. But um, the washi actually, um, I have a, you know, a lot of drawers that I bought recently for my washi. So um, the product is probably gonna sit there. And uh, I decided to store in here all these beautiful paper clips because I have a ton and I'm gonna link them below like this is um, a store from a store in Italy and uh, they are just beautiful um, I am again I can't remember all the names they're all different shops but I will link them all below and I just love the feel of it you know they just uh, um, add some oh this is my favorite like the little squirrel uh, some are from uh, friends uh, that sent them to me but this is I wouldn't call this, this is from a friend Steph uh, hi Steph <laughs> but um, these are not um, you know probably the best solution um, but it's something that works for me at the moment so if I find a better solution um, you know you can put them in drawers actually clear drawers but I just wanted to show you that basically my collection extends to um, all sorts of uh, paper clips I just love these for fall too cute you can lay them up like that and uh, um, I also have these bows uh, that are by, I remember the name of this shop, it's called Lay and Alley. And I bought them in all different colors last year for my fall collection. And so this is it, it's just a little of a mess, but if you don't have much room, I mean, I wouldn't do this with paper clips because again, they're gonna get crushed, but felt is perfectly fine because it's not gonna break and uh, um, you know, it just also looks kind of pretty. It looks like the little bunny is carrying some flowers in the back, right? So um, it looks like a little flower basket. But again, this is my other way of organizing and I will try and link possibly all the shops below but if I forget somebody just let me know and I will try to track him down and I hope you like this video and uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye!